tune in for another segment of Puppy Development with Jay the Joy Dog. Hey y'all, I'm Callie with Antebellum Kennels, and today we're here to do another installment with Jay the Joy Puppies Puppy Development. As you can see, we've got a few more puppies running around out here than we had last week. Um, and that's because we take in quite a few puppies this time of the year um, to start training with. Um, all of these puppies, there's five of them here right now, they will go on um, about the same track as Jay. Um, you know, they'll go on to hunt and uh, campaign and hunt tests and various other um, retriever type events. Um, so we're going to bring them all up the same way. And it looks very, very chaotic right now. You know, you've got puppies running around, you've got puppies playing, you've got puppies over there drinking water, and then you've got puppies over here paying attention, you know, and checking in and saying, hey, what are you doing? You know, and what we're wanting to do right now is basically just make everything fun again, like we talked about last week, but also we want to start developing good habits. Well, I like it right now when these puppies start looking at me and saying, hey, what, what you doing? How, you know, what can I do? A puppy that will sit down and look at you and pay attention will learn so much quicker than a puppy that has no attention span. And this is where we start getting their attention span, is getting them to focus on us. So we've got little uh, Red, he's one of our chocolate males. Sadie's our other little yellow female. Hayes is the one over here um, getting on Jay a little bit. And then Homa's back there kind of wandering around. Right now, as long as they're not hurting each other, tearing things up or getting into something they're not supposed to, I'm not really that concerned about it. I want them out exploring and seeing what things are. But I also want to give them the opportunity to check in with me and say, hey, what are you doing right now? You know, and Miss Sadie, she's picked up on this pretty quick. Um, you know, we haven't had this, all of these puppies in for very long. So they're still all kind of learning just a little bit. Um, you know, these two are behind me playing, but I'm going to try to get their attention a little bit and say, hey, Thanks, when I called you and when I asked you to pay attention to me, you did. I'm gonna reward you for that. And again, like with the jumping that they're doing, I'm not getting onto them too hard for that yet. They're not in a stage where I'm gonna start being, you know, being mean to them or getting onto them real hard about anything. So I'm kind of just ignoring it a little bit at this point, but when they keep their feet on the ground, I'm gonna reward that. And I'm gonna say, thank you so much for not jumping on me, you know? Thank you for keeping your feet on the ground. So again, we're rewarding the absence of misbehavior as well with all of this. So within all of this chaos that's going on around here right now, there's a cat running around out there. There's other dogs. There's a whole kennel full of dogs back behind there. These puppies are making the choice to go out and explore and learn things, but they're also making the choice to come in and check in with me. And that's teaching them everything they're gonna need to know for the future. You know, and within this, we can also start to add in a few other elements. You know, we've got a place for it out here. We can start getting them to put their feet up on it and get used to getting on this, this different type of surface. So when it does come time to start training, they're already used to getting their feet on it. You know, I'm not forcing them to do any of this work. I'm not making them do anything. I'm asking them if they would like to try. When they do try and they give me a positive effort, I reward them with some of their dog food, you know? So it's just a real nice way to go about raising a puppy that here in a couple months when we need to start to get into the meat of their retriever training and build that retriever foundation, they have a solid obedience and socializing foundation to build upon. And that's what we need for everything, you know? And it doesn't matter if these puppies were gonna go into service dog work or go into, you know, detection work, anything like that, this foundation right here is super solid, you know, and it will help them to be able to build on that for later years, um, you know, and then just being able to explore and going out and seeing the world. That's what we need from all of them. So, and again, if you guys have any questions whatsoever, please um, don't hesitate to contact me through Facebook, um, you know, or through the Joy page. Um, we'd love to answer your questions. We'd love to see videos of you training your own dogs. Um, so please, and you know, send us whatever questions you have and uh, we'll see you guys next time. Thank you. Please contact us for more information about Joy Dog Foods or dog training through Antebellum Kennels.